the name on the door fits like a glove. When you see the flurry of punches flying across the ring. But learning how to throw a clean jab is not the main hook of this gritty sanctuary. It's like another home. That's what it feels like to me. Andrea Scott is 16 years old, but got roped into training here at 12. My mom was coming here for herself, and then she was like, you know what, this is, will be a good place for me to get some discipline. <laughs> Tough love from coaches. Body. Shoot the left hook to the body. That keeps Garrett Neal coming back yeah, well sure. into his 20s. They tell you what you need to hear when not what you want to hear. They like test you by testing your heart sometimes too. Use your job, use your job. Use That's your the job. mission use for job. Muhammad Koyongo. I just tell him, call me mom. Once a professional boxer, he and other trainers have been teaching the sweet science to kids of all ages since the gym opened more than five years ago. A boxing builds your character. You know, you're gonna know really like who you are. You're gonna get tired. You're gonna feel like you don't wanna do it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you're gonna dig deep. Fostering that no quit mentality while also giving boys and girls a safe haven after school proves the training here goes beyond boxing. It's about steering young people down the right path as the temptation to commit crimes rises around them. Too much, too much, too much. I know some. You know some? Yes, it's actually really sad and it, it hurts me sometimes because I see people that I really love outside in the street. Coach Mo wants them here, even if it's just to eat or use their new computer lab to do homework. It's uh, the transformation of the youth. In our community. A place where someone is always in your corner well after the bell sounds. There's people in here that, that, that want to see you succeed and, and grow in life. In Minneapolis, Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. We have something hopeful that has just happened. What was meant to be a protest turned into a party. It's a wonderful sight to see of like, again, this is our community celebrating of like we made this happen. A party to block the funding and relocation of a new third police precinct. It came together by people who live in the Seward and Longfellow neighborhoods, which are part of the third precinct. We would love to see that proposal for this facility be um, uh, a space where we could have had organizations and, and social services that deals with mental health, that deals with gender violence and domestic disputes. This block party is being held in a parking lot next to what was supposed to be the proposed facility. On Monday, Minneapolis police say the new space was vandalized. Then Wednesday, the landlord pulled out of his lease. And we know the work's not done. We know we have so much to do, but we got to celebrate the small victories. While some may be celebrating, there are several businesses within the 3rd Precinct, like here at 40th in Chicago, that are concerned about the lack of police presence. For me as a business owner, it's disheartening, it's concerning. Local business owners describe a shift in police presence and safety since May, when the 3rd Precinct burned down. I used to look out the window here and see police cars go by. You can, it was very common. I hardly ever see a police car go by, hardly ever. In the last week, there's been an armed robbery, car smashing into storefronts, and other vandalism in that area. This stuff happening during a date, we, I've never seen it here, and it's happening now. Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. Thursday is expected to be the busiest day so far this year at MSP International. We are going to Waco, Texas. We're headed to South Carolina. We saw a lot of tiny suitcases and small sneakers rolling through. This is our first MEA break. She's on fall break, they're on fall break, and perfect timing to go. Roughly 35,000 people are expected to go through TSA Thursday, and today is similar. Not quite 2019 levels, but double 2020 levels. Tomorrow morning, like the first bank of flights, you can expect to be very busy. We just left as soon as we could. You know, got him out of school and was like, you know, let's go. AAA says half the Minnesotans planning to travel by the end of the year plan to go by car, something their survey says 94% of people are comfortable with. <laughs> On social media, a lot of you told us that you're just staying home this MEA. Here at the mall, there is some free fun to be had. Selma tells me school is going well this year, but... I'm here because I'm taking a break from school and learning and writing. The staycation plans are complete. Hmm, today I'm going to 
doing roller coasters. I'm just going to play. Maybe I'll stay tomorrow at home. But if you're still making yours, Nickelodeon Universe has pancake artists this weekend, reptile shows, and dance parties planned. Maybe you want to check out a state park or rent a movie from a library and stay home. Whatever the plan. Uh, we're planning to go on um, Wisconsin Dells. Live it up while you can. They're so excited. We're going to have a good time. In Bloomington, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. After more than a year of feeling out of tune, a familiar rhythm is returning to St. Paul's Lower Town as Saints fans made their way to CHS Field, many of whom enjoyed a bite to eat nearby first. Yeah, I think it keeps a lot of them afloat, and it's, it's just a great experience, too, for the for average fan. Daniel Hader and his son stopped by Dark Horse, a classic example of an out-of-towner visiting the city, lured in by a big event, and spending money in a sector eager to see more customers. Once things can go back to full capacity, then we'll really see it. Uh, we're, we're really excited about what's going to be happening over the next couple of months to kind of really give us that new new barometer of what, what the neighborhood is going to be like. Any boost is appreciated after a tough 2020. Yeah. Visit St. Paul says businesses in Ramsey County lost around $1 billion in sales last year and 15 to 20,000 jobs. But clearly there's a buzz returning from one side of town to the other. Wild fans lined West 7th Street near the X, clad in green and spending it. New Bohemia is only open right now because we have playoffs and events at the XL. So without that, we wouldn't be open right now. While large indoor events like concerts have yet to return to the River Center downtown, there is one consistent event going on that has brought in some customers to nearby businesses. We've seen a lot of people coming down. They get done getting their shot and they'll come down and have a, they'll have a beer here. They'll have a bite of teeth here. In St. Paul, Jeff Wagner. It's nice to see the street live again. WCCO 4 News.